again. Uh, welcome to another edition of Great Bait Videos at Great Bait Bakers. Uh, this video is going to be about a uh, stoplight that I purchased at an auction. Um, I've always wanted one. I finally found one that was on sale or for sale. So I purchased it and made a made a cool little stand for it and got it working now. It's in the house in the basement and got on a motion sensor. So it comes on when you're, somebody walks in the room and I thought I'd lost all the video that I'd made when I was making it, but uh, you're lucky and I found it. So this is going to be from start to finish, all everything I did to it. So hope you enjoy it. I know I loved making it and it's a very cool, cool project I have in the, in the basement now. So, all right, let's get to the video. I went to a, an estate sale yesterday with Greg. And bought a couple things. I'll show you what they are. But I had to. Whoa, what happened to that thing? What happened to that? What happened to that? I gotta stop that and restart it. <laughs> that was weird, huh? Got stuck in hyper flash mode. As you can see, it's a. Uh, stoplight from some place I don't know where but I'm gonna try and see if I can get mounted on a pole instead of hanging it from the garage ceiling or something but uh, I'm gonna try to get the flash red yellow green too instead of being all on at the same time I got a circuit board coming for that I gotta fix that little thing there and get make it round again hopefully but as far as uh, this thing coming together it's actually working pretty good but uh, I got this for the base I went and painted that last night and I got that wood for the, the actual bottom part of it but I don't think it's gonna be heavy enough to hold this thing up and down straight up without falling over but this thing's actually pretty easy to work on I gotta clean it up yet but I got LED bulbs in there but this is where I'm at today And you see there's not much to that thing. I took all the wirings off of that uh, uh, power strip and I bought this circuit board and uh, it's actually working out pretty good. So I'll uh, finish up this video when I'm done but this is where I'm at so far. All right, I've been out in the garage working on my uh, traffic light mod. Um, I got it working pretty good. Got my, I just stabled this uh, circuit uh, here and I bought me a circuit board that actually controls the numerous ways to make the lights work. But it's working pretty good. I'll show you what it is here in a minute. But that's what it looks like when they're not on. I got this pipe that's going to stand on a, I got to get a base for it yet, but I'm still trying to figure out what to use for that. But the pipe is nice and solid, tight. So let's plug it in. I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it's going to look like. I got the lights coming on for four seconds. I might change that to a three or two. So it cycles quicker. But I think it looks pretty good. Another cool addition for the gay rod. <laughs> I like it. I'm glad I bought it. It'd be pretty cool, huh? I'm thinking about getting an old mag wheel, like those aluminum, uh, uh, I don't remember what they call them, but uh, they're aluminum, they got five spoke kind of thing, but put that on for the base. I think that'd be kind of cool. Here's what it's going to look like when it's standing up. Isn't that going to be cool? Man, that's going to be cool. I'm going to put it on a motion sensor too, so it comes on when I walk in the garage. I actually might put this down in the basement, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I like it. Almost forgot to put this top on there. It's like a little cap that I got. So it's just uh, nutted on there. Give it a little bit more finished look. But look much better that way. Now we should be done. Ready to rock and roll. That'll look much better that way. 
Now it's finished. I gotta get the base done yet, but other than that, it's done. All right. I had this base that I picked up yesterday that I thought I was gonna use for this thing, but I thought it was gonna be too top heavy with it. But it's really not, really not. I think it's gonna work out pretty good, but uh, I'm gonna paint the base green, maybe and put a Sinclair sticker on it. <laughs> but I got a hole drilled in the base right for my cord. I think it looks good. Here's what it looks like when it's working. I think I may do that uh, three seconds instead of four. Yeah, four is actually not too bad. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that is so cool. I've always wanted one of those and now I got one. And it's working great. I love it. So I'm going to paint the base green and uh, I'll let you know what that looks like when I'm done with it. I got to run to town anyway and get Darcy's medication so I'll pick up a can of paint and uh, I'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Got the base painted green. Let her dry for a while and I'll put it back on. Got it all painted up nice and green. Put some felt pads on the bottom. Maybe help it a little bit, I don't know. But, uh, anyway, let's put this thing back on there and I'll show you what it is. And I'll be done. Okay, we got her done. Got the base all painted green. Put me a little Sinclair sticker on the bottom. And... We're going to get her lit up here and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done, but I, you already know what it looks like, so... But it's done. Done, done, done. There's all lit up. Isn't that cool? Now I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Might take it inside and put it in the basement. That's cool. I'm happy I did it. So that project's done. Uh, I'm not sure what's next, but I'm sure there's something on the horizon. So stay safe, stay healthy, and stay great. Talk to you later. Morning. Today is, uh, I want to say 24th of September. Um, if not, sorry, it's the 23rd, 24th. I'm pretty sure it's the 24th. But I've always had an idea when I made my stoplight deal. Um, the base of it, that's not really what I wanted on there, but I always had this idea of putting a, like an old custom mag wheel on the base, make it more uh, custom looking, cool looking. So Fremont actually had a swap meet this morning, today. And I went out there and I got lucky and I found a wheel. So I found this old mag wheel that's all by itself, doing nothing. And he wanted 25 bucks for it. I gave him 20 and he took it. So I'm gonna see if I can make this, in, this base fit on top of that mag wheel. I'm gonna figure it out somehow, but for sure. But um, we'll see what I can figure out. So that's my next project. I think it's gonna be cool. It's gonna look much better than that green base I got with the wood. And the aluminum wheel is not that all that heavy either, so it's gonna work out pretty good, I think. So stay tuned. We got it all cleaned up. As good as it's gonna get. Not perfect, obviously, because it's a used wheel, but not too bad. Now I just gotta find me an adapter to screw that or find a way to make this work. I actually want to put it in from the bottom somehow. I mean, you get find a bigger one. It's a one and a half inch, um, oh, Vietnam. It's a one and a half inch uh, floored flange, but I need a wider base, so 
from here to here, it's going to be about six and a half inches from the bottom. I think that might work. I might have to get my own piece of metal and cut it out. And I can weld this onto that since I got me a welder now. So my brain is still working. All right, well, it's getting kind of late. It's um, 8.30. I had a, my niece's son's football game to go to, so I took up a couple hours, and I had to go out to my in-laws and have pizza because my brother and sister-in-law, brother-in-law and sister-in-law, are headed back to Michigan tomorrow, so we had to visit with them for a while, but I got some stuff done. I got the wheel cleaned up about as best I can or as best it needs to be. I took the valve stem out. I'm gonna get a metal one and just screw it in there. And I figured out how to mount it too. This is a spacer I had for the back wheels on that thing that I did not need. So what I'm going to do, this will go up from under on the back side. And what I'm going to do is mount that to that and bring it up from under this under the sneath and I'll use these to hold that in place I'll use five of them obviously but um, and I'll bolt that on because there's that bolt pattern is perfect for that and then that piece over there will screw on the bottom of this and I'm hoping this is strong enough should be you hold that thing up but we will see tomorrow whether that works or not so I'm going in take a shower going to bed and I'll be back bright and early tomorrow so stay tuned it's gonna look pretty cool I think yep that's what I wanted to do with it anyway so later okay let's see what we got here I went and bought some chrome lug nuts because I thought they would look better in there instead of these but I'm good with either one I'm gonna try the lug nuts first this is a little hub I made it's going on the back side hopefully that'll work but we shall see well it worked out pretty good one's a little crooked there but I had to take the washers off the back because they wouldn't, the bolts wouldn't go down. I should probably grind that down a little bit to keep that, straighten that bolt out a little bit, but I think it's gonna be okay just the way it is because it is, you know, what they say, just the light. So this isn't going anywhere. So I think it's gonna work out pretty good. Now I'll put this thing on that and we'll uh, go from there. Welcome to another day in the garage. We're going to hopefully finish up this uh, stoplight mod. I think it's gonna look out pretty good. I think it's gonna work out pretty good, look cool, look better. Uh, that wood base wasn't that strong anyway, and I kinda hated to leave it that way, but this won't fall apart. <laughs> so let's finish it up and I'll show you the video. See if we can't get this thing put together. It's not gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to pick it up. Try and screw it in that way. Over there. That looks so much better. <laughs> I like it. What do you think? I think it looks pretty cool. I like that much better. <laughs> much better. I'm just going to leave the valve stem out of it. No need it anyway. I thought about uh, taking this cord running it through that valve stem hole but there's really no reason for it because if I ever have to take it apart then I won't have to 
take the wire out. But what do you think? Much better idea, huh? I like it. I like it much better that way. So that worked out better than I thought it would. It does look cool. Much better. I think it needed it. Classic stoplight with a classic wheel, mag wheel. And it's aluminum, lighter weight. I mean, things not heavy any or not light anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna like it better. So I'm gonna call that one and done and done again. What do we got here? Where'd you come from, little guy? I have to put him outside. Got to mow the yard today anyway, so I'll probably kill him with the mower. I've been wanting one for a super long time, but I've never found one. And when I went ran across it, hit the sale, I had to have it. I was the first one to bid on it and the only one to bid on it, so it worked out really well. So I got it on a motion sensor here, but it's probably going to light up as soon as I plug it in because I've been walking in front of this thing. So I got it working. That's how it looks when it's lit up. But as soon as it senses somebody moving moving in the room, it'll light up and work. But I think it looks pretty cool. I'm glad I found that wheel. Sorry for the mess behind there, but we're still trying to put stuff away. It's only been a year since we moved in. <laughs> Off to the next project. So stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay grape. Take care.